following the Abuja Peace Accord endorsed by all the 14 presidential candidates in the February 14 presidential election, which include President Goodluck Jonathan and his main challenger, General Muhammad Buhari. South South leader Chief Edwin Clark has advised the politician to stick to issues that will benefit Nigerians at home and in diaspora. Chief Edwin Clark made this submission in an exclusive chat with Ben Television in Abuja. If you are a politician, you have wanted to be a president or a governor or a senator of, of the Republic of Nigeria, tell the people what you want to do for them. What is your program? What is your manifesto? This is what you should do. Number two, avoid attacking people in person, personalities. Number three, avoid using religion or tribal ethnicity in campaigning. Because Nigeria is a great country with over 200, 300 ethnicities. Other statesmen also caution the electorate not to allow the politicians to use them for violence during and after the election. And to the electorate. Do not allow politicians to use you because they will dump you the following day. No matter how close you are to them, think of Nigeria first in whatever you are doing. That this manifest election will do this for Nigeria, will not do this for Nigeria if not elected. Number two, do not allow politicians to corrupt you because they have easy money to throw around. After the elections, you won't get the money again. They will dump you. The Abuja resident of Chief Edwin Clark has turned to political Mecca, where various political groups have been coming to pledge support for President Goodluck Jonathan candidature for next month's election. From Abuja, Muiwa Bamedele reporting. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has been called upon to proceed with the election timetable as planned and not yet to cause from certain quarters who want the election postponed. The Kali Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Matthew Kuka, made the call in Abuja at a workshop organized by the Nigerian Bar Association as part of the activities of the association to ensure free, fair, and credible elections. He added that every vote would truly count as Nigerians were ready for the elections. The first question we should address is why are these elections generating so much passion and eliciting so much anxiety? The reasons are many, but I will just mention two. First, there is a feeling that against the backdrop of the tragic events of 2011, Christians in the North genuinely fear that they and their churches and properties could be targets of venom and the wrath of frustrated youth in the Northern states. To avert this, and I am a witness to the movements of hundreds of some of my parishioners who are genuinely afraid. In his remarks, the past president of NBA, Joseph Daudu, urged politicians to respect the rights of the citizens in saying goodbye to violence and anything that will jeopardize the country's democracy. Politicians must respect the fundamental rights of opponents and perceived opponents, particularly the right to life, freedom of speech, association, and the freedom to impart and disseminate ideas and knowledge. If we allow violence to stifle these rights, then we can say goodbye to our fledgling democracy. Speakers at the event also believe that the forthcoming election is a determinant of how the next four years would be in the country. And we cannot go into an election year without the bar fulfilling its role as a leading group, leading professional group, leading non-governmental group, and we cannot be the largest bar in Africa. And all we do when it comes to election is to monitor. The decision of the Nigerian Bar Association to focus attention on the preparation for the 2015 election is therefore most welcome. It demonstrates once more the capacity of the Nigerian Bar Association to play its time-tested role 
as a responsible watchdog and umpire in our political space and also reflect his ability to focus on issues of national concern from a professional and proactive perspective. And the commitment demonstrated by the NBA in setting up this committee is quite commendable and the Commission is prepared and very much willing to partner with the NBA in its efforts. All eyes are focused on the general elections and Nigerians are more passionate about it, unlike the past ones where they displays lack of interest on who occupy key positions in the country. LM Chukwemeka reports. As countdown to February general election continue to gather momentum across the country, all progressive Congress presidential campaign council has called on the security agencies that will participate in the forthcoming general election to maintain neutrality. The director of media and publicity of the council, Malam Gava Shew, made this call in an exclusive share with Ben Television in Abuja. Malam Shiv said security should not compromise their role of duty during and after the voting processes. And we are hoping that everyone will do their own duty and it will act according to the law. But more importantly, police, army, secret service must not be used against any candidate. They should maintain their neutrality and, and, and ensure that the votes is free, the vote is free, fair, and untainted in any way. We have made a vow. If the election is free and fair, if we win, we celebrate. If we lose and we are convinced that it's clean, we will extend the hand to shake that winner, whoever he or she is. So that's, that's our position. In line with Nigerian constitution, Security agencies are expected to create secure and conducive environment for peaceful and violent free poll. From Abuja, Muywa Bamdele reporting. The federal government of Nigeria has said that it has not forgotten about the Chibwa girls has been insinuated in some quarters, emphasizing that all hands are on deck to rescue them unharmed. The coordinating spokesperson of the National Information Center, Mr. Michael Mary, stated this while briefing newsmen in Abuja. We wish to note that despite the fact that it is nine months since the adoption of our girls from a secondary school in Chibok town, the government of Nigeria has not relented and will not relent in deploying all efforts, all capacities to ensure the rescue of these girls. It is not about days, it is not about time, it is about the rescue of the girls. The government therefore reassures parents, relations and all Nigerians of this commitment. Omeri, who was reacting to recent successes recorded by the joint military forces in repelling an attack by Boko Haram insurgents in Bu community in Borno State, used the medium to commend security officers for the inflinching love and support for their fatherland. Therefore, we pay special tribute to all our soldiers, officers and men, and other members of the security services who have been maimed, wounded or killed in the, in the course of the campaign to defeat Boko Haram in our country. On the effort of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, so far in taking care of the displaced persons as a result of the insurgency and other natural disaster in the country, the Director of Research and Rescue of the agency, Air Commodore Charles Otegbade, said that the agency and other partners are doing everything possible to take care of the internally displaced persons in the areas of AIDS provision, healthcare and education. 
and highlight of our material and material support so far. NEMA, with support from our local and international partners, we have provided both food and non-food items, such as blankets, mattresses, mosquito nets, to IDPs that are living in camps, as well as those living with host communities. As regards education, NEMA, in collaboration with the State Emergency Management Agencies and UNICEF, has launched a program that aims to provide education to the IDPs in all the camps. You will recall that the President, President Jonathan, in collaboration with the United Nations Special Envoy for Global Education, Mr. Gordon Brown, and the Coalition of Nigerian Business Leaders has initiated the Safe School Initiative to rebuild, rehabilitate, and restore safety in the educational sector of Northeast Nigeria. In the realm of healthcare, NEMA and UNHCR have partnered to, pro provide, have partnered to provide training to IDP camp managers, doctors, and nurses in camp management and response efforts. Together with the UN agencies, NEMA is currently providing medical equipment to health facilities treating victims of the insurgency attacks in all the three th states. He called on Nigerians and the displaced persons to be patient as the agency is doing everything possible to take care of their needs. From Abuja, I am Festus Ejirog and Nefife for Ben Television. A total of 580.378 billion has been distributed among the federal, state, and local government by the Federation Accounts Allocation Commission (FAC). The amount shared indicates a shortfall of 12.848 billion naira compared to 628.775 billion naira shared in November 2014. Minister of State for Finance, Ambassador Bashir Yuguda, while briefing journalists. After the meeting in Abuja said that the excess crude account now stands at $2.059 billion. We have a refund from the NMPC to the federal government to the sum of six billion, six point three billion. So the grand total for the month of January is five hundred and eighty billion three hundred and seventy eight that will go to the federal government and the various states. The balance on the excess crude account as at today stands as two billion and forty nine million US dollars. Fielding questions from journalists on the economy, Ambassador Yuguda said states have been advised to key in with the federal government to see the measures taken to mitigate against the dwindling oil price. Before we commence the actual deliberation at the plenary session, we try to tell the states that let them key in with uh, us in the federal government and see the kind of um, measures that we are taking to mitigate against this. But the economy is working. If we are only now relying on the price of crude oil, the figure that I have given you today at fact will have been halved because price of oil was going for what, 100 plus? Now it's about 40 plus. So if we are only relying on the prices of oil for us to sustain ourselves in a nation like Nigeria, things will have been different. And that is part of the measures that this administration has been putting in place. The Chairman of Commissioners of Finance, Timothy Oda, who was recently quizzed by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, said the Commission found nothing against him. Integrity is involved, so they, they, they can't tell you everything they have said, but I know there is nothing missing as far as I'm concerned. If there is, I think uh, they would have blown it there. The EFCC will be able to tell you everything. They said the report was made, so it's a professional hazard, but I think um, they handled me well because uh, we were diplomatic, they were doing their job. But I want to say that the EFCC is a good place people should do, 
visit in order to get yourself propped up. Timothy Oda, alongside Commissioner for Local Government and Chief Tenancy Matters and Accountant General of the Boyne State, was recently quizzed by the operatives of Nigeria Anti Graft Agency for an allegations of corruption and financial recklessness involving local government funds. Awesome Raffle, Ben Television, Abuja, Nigeria.